Welcome to our first tutorial with the topic mixing and mastering and in this first block we talk about EQing and especially about the low and high cut and moderate working. Um, the song I have for you is an electric song, um, so like house or minimal. Um, the song in full quality you can hear uh, on SoundCloud. The link is in the video description. So um, first, I play a little section um, on the song that you hear. Um, what happens in this? Okay, I think that's enough. So, um, I have a little bit to prepare for you. We got here the fab delay EQing. You can use every other EQ. That's only for example here right now. So we, uh, I show you a little bit from the bongo. Yeah, in the tutorial, in the text, I talk about the hi hat. So right now I use the other instrument. I use the bongo um, and. Um, you can listen up um, on this. I reset all that stuff. Um, make it clean. We use this one. So, right now, you see it? You see here uh, every, every, every um, on the frequencies under 200 hertz so like under uh, 175 hertz um, some happen what we don't use I show you uh, with the low and high cut um, that you can hear it like a little bit louder As you hear this blop 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 blop, we don't use it. You don't hear it in the song. We don't want to have it in the song because uh, in every song it's really important the drums. The drums is really important. That's straight in your face. Uh, um, so um, the problem is when you have ten instruments with uh, some bullshit in the lower frequency sec uh, section. So may around 2 dB on every instrument and you got 10. So we have 20 dB on uh, on bad frequencies, what we don't need, what make uh, the drum section indifferent. And um, I want to help you right now. So And I want to show you some solutions to um, clean, that, all, clean that stuff up and make better mix. So, you see, uh, from 10 to 174 Hz, uh, that bullshit we don't need. So, um, I use low and high cut, I have prepared uh, before, um, and I set it here on 124. Uh, you can use it higher, like, I think like this one is good, so you see on the frequencies how this works, yeah. On the spectrum, um, so so right now we have only the useful full frequencies from the bongo. Yeah, you can do this every with every instrument or every vocal and all that stuff. Yeah, you have to watch which frequency you need on which you don't need, and that what you don't need, put it out. Yeah, so. Uh, it's it's better. It's better to better get a better quality uh, to have some 
cleaner sounds and especially for me when I make the mastering or make a mix um, you can go louder, you can go clearer, you can uh, have the you have the difference between the drums and the bass drum and the snare and all that stuff. So that's really important. So I do on every track a low cut and high cut. So a low cut on every track at 20 hertz because under 20 hertz you don't hear it, and a high cut uh, on 20 kilohertz because over 20 kilohertz you don't hear it too. Yeah. So um, it's really important to do that. And then when you have put it on every tr single track, yeah, the low and high cut, you can't adjust the frequency scale. So you can adjust how many you you need from this from the separate frequencies of uh, every separate instrument or every separate uh, vocals and all that stuff. So the next thing I want to show you is the moderate working. For example, we use um, the synthes here. Um, we use uh, this two synthes and show you. We use the short one and this one. We talk here about the moderate working. When you have a frequency and you wanna have that it sounds better, then you have to put it down the frequency. When you want that it sounds different, then you have to put up. Yeah, that's some basic rules, very important basic rules from the EQing. So I think Right, we go on with we go on with another problem is when two instruments are on the same frequency section, yeah? Like I show you on this track, like uh here I get the mark on it. Droop. So you can listen up. That's only this two this this short synthy and we got this Synthy. Yeah. You see it here right now? This is this synthy it goes from the range from 20 hertz to 2 kilohertz, yeah. And this high synthy, um, I should open up the other fab filler from the high synthy, so I think right now you see it both and this is the high frequency and this goes from around 500 to yeah 20 20 kilohertz and the problem what we got is we got here some on this frequency. Mm. 
So you see here on the instrument, this is what I do in the song. I put down some frequency so because I want that it sounds better and pull up this frequencies in, in the range of 818 hertz and 1851 hertz. And here I work put some down, and we have here much from 600 to 800, and I would put here a little bit, and it sounds more harmonic together, you know, so, um, important when you uh, pull out some frequencies, the Q factor. Use the highest, yeah, highest you can get uh, of this frequency uh, what you want to pull out. So, uh, and the another thing what is important, so please, please, when you pull out some frequencies, use linear phase EQing. Because the problem is when you pull out, okay, 2 dB minus, minus 2 dB is not so critical, but when you go higher, like minus 3 or minus 4 or minus 5 dB, um, then it will be maybe, only maybe you got problems with, uh, with phasing, with, uh, you got a phasing or flanging effect because the, phase, uh, the phasing shift. That's the problem, the phasing shift, yeah? And um, the linear phase EQ um, needs more CPU, but um, it works linear and you don't have the problem with the phasing shifts, yeah? Uh, this can be a high risk in, in a song when you have much, much um, instrument tracks or vocal tracks around 50 or 60 or 70 tracks, yeah, separate tracks, and then you hear, ah, oh, shit, something was flanging, and then you have to go to all tracks separate and look, where's the fucking problem, so then use first the linear phase EQ. So I think I um, talk about enough about the basics. So right now you can work a little bit around from for you and on your project, yeah. And um, in the internet are many, many, many articles about the queuing. It's really, really, really important that you read more about it, that you work more about with queuing and look what uh, it is possible and what is not possible because queuing is one of the, the important things in the mixing and mastering process. So if you making good queuing, so it's easier for me as a mastering engineer uh, to put up your sound and uh, get a better quality and get the best results of your projects. So I think um, we make the next times a lot of more blogs uh, and tutorials about EQing, about compressions, about mixing and mastering and all that stuff. So um, get on our Facebook site, get on our website um, um, or download our our a smartphone app from the App Store, from iTunes, Blackberry, Android, it's no problem and all devices are our smartphone app available and then you get the, the, the latest news uh, about uh, blogging, about offers, about all that stuff.